My name is Ryan LeDuc. I'm an engineering professor at McMaster University in Canada. I'm Brenda Cooper. I'm the author of numerous science fiction and fantasy books and stories. Hello, this is Paul Janess. I'm going to be reviewing the Lays of Anuskaya epic fantasy series by Bradley P. Bullier. I just finished reading the third and final book in the series, The Flames of Shadam Korra, and I'm just blown away by this series. I've read all three books in the series, The Winds of Kalikova, The Straits of Galahesh, and I was lucky enough to get an advanced copy of The Flames of Shadam Korra. I first discovered this series maybe two and a half years ago, when Brad and I were both going to the same workshop and I wanted to read his work before I met him. And I was just completely enchanted by The Winds of Kalikova, which is the first book in the series. And I happen to be one of the people who has already had a chance to read book three, and it is fabulous. And the entire series is just wonderful to read. The series arc is, is um, phenomenally well done. The third book, Flames of Shadam Korra, just, you know, knocked my socks off. This isn't simplistic fantasy. This is deep, rich, layered stuff. This one really went in directions I wasn't expecting, wonderful directions that I really liked, but it really kept me guessing. There was a lot of things I just did not expect, and that is something really fantastic about the story, is that it can bring you that sort of surprise and that enjoyment of the story. It's got a lot of action and tension, these great battles and this cool magic and this amazing world building, and it has a lot of heart. Brad has given us a land that is truly in peril, and he's given us some really fabulous characters to help the people of this land find a way out of the peril. And throughout all three books, it was a very nice development of what was going on, what the, the characters were trying to achieve. The, this, this series is basically about these rifts that are forming in the world, that are slowly destroying it. These rifts suck the life energy out of people and places and, you know, the... the the plants and the, the crops are all failing because of the, these rifts. So the people are starting to starve. And a lot of the people are getting this wasting disease, which is causing them to die, and there's no cure. One of the things that Brad is just phenomenal at is world building. It's just, it's just amazing, the world building in this. It's got a flavor that I've never had before in fantasy. One of the things that particularly caught my eye was instead of the novels being based on traditional Western... Uh, histories. This one was had more of an Eastern flavor. There's flintlock muskets, and they still ca they carry swords. So we have sword fights and cannon battles between the wind ships. And fabulous wind ships. Don't forget the fabulous wind ships. They flew in wind ships. These flying ships with with masts that come out of the top, the sides, the bottom. The wind ships that go from place to place travel in a unique fashion. I've never read about or been part of or felt as if I were traveling on anything like this. A lot of times I find sometimes the dialogue is kind of stilted or it's expected or it's, you know, it's a normal sort of thing. I found the dialogue in these three novels to be very fresh, very original, that felt very natural to me and very interesting. But over and over again, Brad presented me with fresh ideas, fresh characters. The main characters are really fun. Um, Nikander, Prince Nikander Kalikovo, He's the second line for the duke, dukedom of Kalikovo, and uh, he's, uh, he's torn between duty and honor. And the other character that's very important for the series is a young, a young boy in the first book named Nassim, and he seems to be autistic. He's the reincarnation of this really powerful elemental uh, sorcerer who, who's actually one of the ones who brought about these rifts. Brad does a really phenomenal job with his female characters. I don't often encounter male, char male fantasy writers who can make their women feel quite as real as Brad's do. I mean, all of his characters feel real. It's not unique to that. Um, but I like the way, I mean, I, you know, I don't want to give away spoilers, but I like the way that he has this whole group of matriarchs who have both a really powerful political position and not that are both truly spiritual um, and also um, sort of dealing with the machinations of how to make things work. There was also lots of action, lots of magic, 
the characters went to interesting places. It was a very detailed, well thought out plot of what was going on. And always I felt as if, when reading these, I felt as if I were truly, truly immersed in them. And the third book had a really nice uh, conclusion that brought the main story threads together, uh, resolved stuff that really needed to be resolved, but at the same time, you know, left a few threads here and there out that you're sort of warning about what happened and everything else. The third book, The Flames of Shadam Korra, it brings together everything that we've been, you know, that's been building in the first two. And it, it, brings, to, it brings us to a, an ending, a climax that I did not see coming. And it's so epic and amazing. The series just works on so many levels. It works on the story level. It works on the place level. Um, and it works on the level that there's a fore story and a back story. I like the pacing. I like the characterization. I really like the characters. The novels kept me up late at night, uh, which is always a really good sign of a good, a good story for me. Fans of epic fantasy who like rich, textured, layered fantasy with strong characters, you know, there's some great female characters, really cool magic. This is the kind of book for you. There's nothing about these series that sort of made me feel like there was a retread or sort of, it's that it was all really fresh and real. And that's one of the things I think is really wonderful about this author, is that there's such a freshness and difference, unexpectedness in the story. I can't praise it enough. So I really highly recommend uh, The Lays of Anuskaya by Bradley Bullier. I just want to encourage you to read these books. I think that they are fabulous. Um, I've enjoyed every page of them. I have found them um, just delicious to read. Hi, I'm Aspen. I'm here to talk about The Winds of Kalikovo. It's a fabulous book series written by my mom's friend, Brad Bollier. <laughs>